Hey guys, um, welcome to uh, this video. Um, I'm just chucking this on the front of the video uh, to kind of update people who don't hang out in the Discord or, you know, or who aren't about for other stuff. But basically, I'm going to be doing a few bits of new videos, I guess. Um... I've I've actually been wanting to do this video for a while and I've kept kept delaying it. I've been working on another thing, keep delaying it. I have to get into the rhythm of this new stuff that I'm doing. Basically, uh let's plays are uninspiring for me. Uh that's the reason why I haven't done it this year or for quite a while. I hope you've been enjoying Sunkissed, but I want to bring you more stuff to watch and maybe slightly more like Slightly longer content, I think, is what I'd prefer to do. Um, and slightly more, like, effort put into it, I guess. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out everything I want to do. But, yeah, that that's that's the that's the basics of it, is, like, a bit longer, a bit more effort, and not uploaded as often. So, one, once I manage to... <clears throat> once I manage to kind of get into the groove of that... Hopefully the videos will start coming out, start being a bit quicker. Um, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this video on Asgard's Fantasy Map Generator. Uh, it is amazing. Um, it is so detailed and really good for, like, just being a GM in general or even just, like, playing around with for fun. Um, so this first video is going to be... I'm gonna take my camera down and then you'll you'll see the thing. But uh basically this this first video is gonna be the very basics of it. It probably won't be that long a video, and the next one will probably be, be a bit longer, and I'll go into the details of like what all of the stuff is. I'm just going to kind of like go over the basic menu and what the things are, and then I'll go into more detail of how to do things and how to kind of like and like how the map works and etc uh in a second video so as i said this will be probably not too long just going over the basics of it and then we'll do a more in-depth video okay so as you can see here this is asgard's fancy map generator probably doesn't mean much to you looking at it just like this but you can see i can like Go over things I can rename. Hi YouTube. Uh and etc. So this is the first bit that you'll want to know about. You have the about. Uh free open source tool procedurally generates fancy maps. You may use auto-generated maps as they are. Uh edit them or even create a quick new map. Check out quick a quick start tutorial, QA hotkeys, Discord server, Reddit community, etc, etc, support on Patreon, all those type of things. Um, so, canvas size, basically pretty simple. Uh, map seed, again, you can in input things, and if you, if you ever need, if you ever need to know, as you see me, like, go over this, uh, if you look at the very bottom, it'll say, it says set number of points, to be used for graph generation. Highly affects performance. So, the points are quite low for me, I think. Yeah. Uh, and this this does, like, s s you know, kind of get a bit slow and stuff, even like this. So, there you go. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll make a new map. We'll call this uh, Sheepies. Uh, it can be 2020, because 2020 is a great year. It will be called the uh, worst era. Uh, and then you have all of these templates. So you can make one that looks like a volcano uh, that, that's kind of like based around a volcano. You've got high islands, low islands, high islands basically like out of the sea a bit more, low islands like a bit more low lying, no kind of mountains, etc. Uh, two continents, archipelago. I believe this. I believe this is like Pangea. You got like shattered isthmus. Uh, some of them are like, you know what we'll do? We'll just uh, 
going in and out very quickly. So that's an atoll. You can see how that works. It's got like a little bit of uh, land there and then a land kind of going all the way around. Quite interesting. You can go for something like the Mediterranean, which is basically like a big area of sea and then bits all around the sides. Personally, starting off, I tend to go with Pangaea. I believe that's what I go for. Yeah, something like a Pangaea. So it gives you a lot of space to work with and follow the things. Now, what you can do is you can change the state numbers. You know, how many states there are. All of these things here are states. We'll go into the labels, uh, into the layers soon. But if I put it up to 24 and hit new map, suddenly there are 24 states. Now, those of you who, G who are GMs may realize that this is kind of cool because you can now have like a pre-made map, which is just like, oh my God, like, yes, you've got the, let's, uh, oh, we'll change the cultures. We'll make them uh, high fancy, why not, new. So now you have like the kingdom of Nalanal, uh, the Srinese Empire, uh, the Kingdom of Velu, and you can change all of these as well. Um, they're just kind of to get you start off, started off. Kingdom of Myseg, the Crodian Empire. You know, maybe like the Kingdom of Myseg used to be a lot bigger, but has slowly been its territory has been taken away by the Crodian Empire, and you can actually make that look like that on the map. Uh, you can change the number of provinces. You can change the size variety. So if you put the size variety at zero, suddenly they're all the same size. If you put the size variety really high, you can get really big ones and really small ones. Pretty cool. Put that back about down there. Uh, growth rate, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, defines how many lands will stay neutral. Huh, there you go. Uh, town number, I just keep that at auto, but you can change it. Religion number, um, we'll get to religion soon. And then generator settings, you've got the interface size, uh, the tooltip size. So I think that's this. Yeah, there you see, you can make that bigger down there. Bigger now. Uh, you've got the transparency. How transparent the map is. Uh, and the zoom extent. So how far... You can zoom in. Now, if you look down here, you'll see, oh, look, there's a town. It's a burg. It's got a population of nine, uh, 1,924. It is a religious center, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have anything else. You can make them state capital, uh, a port, a uh, citadel castle, walled, marketplace, all of these things. And they will be represented when you go to this, which I'll show you very quickly, but we won't talk about right now. I may have to make this a separate video. We'll see. Um, so yeah, uh, if I click this, it takes you to Medieval City Fantasy Generator. And, and you can see, like, there you go. There's, uh, there's the... Um, let me just close that again, because I think I, I think I messed that up slightly. There we go. There's uh, Theriono. Uh, just this, uh, this place here. Just generates a quick little city because it's not very big. Um, if we go over to something like Oriz Orismel, which is what is this place? The Neatlorian. See, this has got twenty thousand people, a lot bigger. Capital, citadel, walled, and you click on it, and then you've got this Orismel. You've got the the castle, the walled area of it. You, got like different districts small borough over here glass lane cattle hook and if you watch um if you watch uh style oh, sanguine yeah if if you watch uh sunkissed you may notice that this is very similar to weir gates because this is a separate thing it's called medieval fantasy city generator it's really cool and also worthwhile but th th that's not what we're gonna talk about majorly for this uh so what we'll do is we'll lower the states numbers we'll lower the province ratio we'll lower the size variety very slightly um and then we will new map okay so 
uh that is all world generation uh the other thing i can oh, where is it is it in... yeah okay so you've got view mode you've also got a 3d scene which this will take a bit of time to load but you can see there that kind of puts into a, a 3d you've also got globe which will turn it into a globe if you need the uh the options for those personally i like to see it like this uh it's just better in my opinion um, so it can be a little bit interesting because you've got like you can see here like bottom right you can see, yeah you can see that uh, you've got zero to a thousand miles and that is like this so there's a lot of space in it uh, all of that can be changed I believe yes if you go to configure world you can actually uh, just go for kind of, um, you can go for like whole world, you can go for northern, tropical, southern, we'll go for northern for, for the why not seas. You can change like how hot the equator is, um, you can change the latitude, precipitation, etc. And then when you do that this time, just go new map. Doesn't look like anything's changed, right? But if you go to, oh, jeez. If you go to the globe, you can see that's just this area. So the rest of the world is all there to be discovered. So what you can actually do is you can, um, if if you if you're like, ah, you know what, I want to expand my, uh, I, I want to expand my stuff. You can kind of like make this, and then uh, go to configure world, and then do the southern area. Um, to keep it exactly the same aside from that, do a new map. We may need to switch to uh, standard mode, there we go. Uh, do a new map. There we go, so this is the southern area. Uh, and you can see if we go to uh, the globe now, there's your southern area. And you can actually like build it all up like that and uh, make it a bit more interesting but if we go back to standard mode yeah you can see the size is a lot smaller here so if you want to make a smaller area then you you can kind of like tone it down a little bit which is really useful anyway enough of that what we're going to do is we're going to go through every thing some of these uh, we'll keep the scale bar some of these may be a little bit slow to load so first up texture doesn't really do much uh, you can see kind of like indications of a few things kind of along with the height map so there's the height map you can see where the where the mountains are there uh, biomes so you've got grassland taiga glaciers around where the mountains are cold deserts around where the mountains are uh, then you've got like temperate rainforests wetlands uh, is there some savannah around here no uh, if I just go here quickly, you can see all the basic uh, biomes. You can actually add in your own biomes and you can paint it. So, like, for example, if you were, um, I don't know, if you were maybe playing a game with lots of jungle, make it all jungle. Or not, as the case may be. Uh, that's something we'll go into more in, in the next video. Uh, so, cells just kind of gives you a a cell area there. Grid. There we go. Similar thing. Turn that off. Come on. Turn it off. There you go. Uh, coordinates just give you uh, the, the yeah coordinates for where you need the coordinates. Lovely. Uh, da -da -da. Windrows uh, is just up the top here. Shows I don't really know. Uh, so let's get into the other stuff. So rivers. Now you can see where all the rivers are. Uh, religions. You can... Uh, all of this is editable, by the way. So you can completely edit it. You can completely take it out. It's really interesting. Uh, so you've got an organized religion here called the Path of Kerborn. Uh, you've got other organized religions. You've got a heresy, a sect in there. Uh, and as I said, you can, you can deal with all of that. You may have noticed I intentionally left relief. It's because it takes ages to load. You've got cultures. So you've got the Coblins there. You've got the Yotun there. You've got the Dale up there. 
trowel. And you can completely change all of these as well. Uh, the states is just um, where you can put the labels on one of the labels. There we go. So there you can see all of the, all of the states. Uh, and you can also put the borders on. So you can see where they're all bordered. Uh, zones. You can see all of these. So you've got like... Oh, there's something going on in gag. Okay. Uh, you've got great smallpox down here. You've got uh, the Trier Key um, Earthquake. Just kind of filling all of that up. Also over there. Very often, actually, you'll have like an earthquake and then like tsunami damage as well, which is interesting. There's some proselytism, like the spread of religion. Uh, there's a flood, and you see it's like on this river. Yeah, there's a flood there. Uh, there's a Stagwan uh, intervention, so basically military. Uh, and Stagwan separatist, separatists over here. And you can add your own in as well. There's something down here. Mount Regnank eruption. So there's a eruption of a volcano over there. Uh, okay, so that's zones. Routes. Basically, now you can see all of these lines on here. It's where the roads run. You can see the major roads. And you can see the minor roads as well that uh, run about the place. Uh, temperature. Just tells you how hot everything is. Very cold, kind of around here. Very hot as you go up towards the top. Populations. This may not load. Just basically shows you where the majority of the populations are. As you can see, not that many around here, but lots around these areas. And they do actually uh, calculate population based on biome. So if I turn the biome on, you'll see that over here, there's not that much compared to like down here, where there's a lot in rural, a lot in urban, etc. Quite cool. Uh, I put biomes on. Yep. Uh, then we've got the ice. Just shows you where the ice is. Mostly it's around uh, here with a little bit down here. It's not really uh, cool enough to... It's not really cold enough to have much ice, but there's little, little bits and pieces. Uh, precipitation, how much it rains. You will also see if we put the biomes on, it mostly rains around the edges. Uh, there's like the cold desert in here where it doesn't rain at all. And uh, yeah, kind of like the, the forests and rainforests, etc. Et kind of around these areas. Uh, there we go. Icons. I can turn biomes off. Icons, icons. I might need to scroll in a little bit. I can't remember. Huh. What is, what is, what's this? Evog. What is, uh, sorry, I'm, I may have to. Okay, so this would be a state. Gag. Culture is Ugluk. Just one berg. What are you? So this is actually its own independent state. So if we go over here, have we gone to cultures yet? We have gone to cultures. What's going on here? The Duchy of Gag. Okay, so this is Ugluk. All right, so they've just kind of, maybe they've made themselves, let's put the states back on. Maybe maybe they made themselves um let's see what they are. So sorry, this is stuff that I'm going to explain in the next one, but that's made me really curious. So the Ugluk are Highland Orcs. A population of four million. They're kind of around here. So what's probably happened, and this this is all randomly generated, so there's no actual story. You you kind of figure it out a little bit for yourself. So what's probably happened, if, if we go back over here, and we'll, so who are these? These are the goblins there. Goblins, nomadic, nomadic? Oh, okay. That doesn't make that much sense, but all right. Um, so if we put the states back on, you can turn the cultures off. So what's probably happened is, because this is where the Ugluk are, in this kind of corner, the Republic of uh, Prolob, which we'll, we'll take a look at very quickly, just to get the the details in. So, Republic of, what was it called? Lord. Prolob. Pro 
capital. Okay, so that's... Uh, so capital, it's mostly coblins, lots of bergs, uh, architects. What's probably happened is they've taken over this area. It doesn't seem to be like a whole load of, uh, of like, you know, there's, there's only a few little places on the rivers here. Uh, bergs. And then probably this one was like a big city for the, for the orcs. And they just declared independence and they the goblins are probably trying to get rid of them or reconquer them but they've been refusing or it's like an asterisk and obelisk situation where they're just kind of you know going uh and and they've refused to give in which is which is kind of cool i think that'd be really awesome to run across if you're playing like D, &D or something you could just run across that situation and that that's like that's like almost a whole campaign by itself you know which i don't know i think it's really cool uh, but sidebar, I'm um, getting distracted. Sorry, apologies. Uh, I don't know what icons are off the top of my head. I'm just going to put that out there. Military, uh, you can see you've got like the Igbog Regiment. Oh, it's got Tyrannus. <laughs> yeah, I, I use this for The Last Ditch. So uh, if you watch that show, which is an only war show, very similar to Charlie Foxtrot, um, but on Roll for It because I couldn't handle the Charlie Foxtrot myself. Uh, yeah, so, uh, that's why Tyranids are in there, because Tyranids, uh, I had to add in as, a, as an option to keep my brain going with all the everything. But, um, there, there are things you can do where you can basically go like, oh, these guys, uh, you can have them fight. So you can be like, oh, these guys are gonna attack these guys. Fight! And, and then you can go, play. Wait, is this... Iterate battle, yeah. So you, you iterate the battle until it's done, and you apply the results. Close the stream. Uh, they close the 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 screen, and you can see they've basically like lost all their guys. And you can uh, do that type of thing, which is really cool. Uh, that's not what we're here for, however. What we're here for is uh, turn military off. You have markers, so you have like knock ambush. Gnock Ambush took place in 2020 WE. Uh, it was fought between Gagian 1st Ibog Regiment and uh, Pro Prolibian Knock Regiment. Ambush ended in attackers' disorderly retreat. So the, the Knocks, uh, these guys, uh, ambushed there, which that's the battle that we just fought. Uh, you got another historical battle. Uh, you got lighthouses. You got mines salt mining towns you got some big bridges going over important places you got a big and famous roadside tavern the purple leopard now these these aren't actually i don't believe these are actually in here do you know should, should we take a look just see if uh we'll open this up and see if what, what's it called the purple leopard it'd be really cool if that was in here but i i, I don't think it is Doesn't look like it. Nah. What are you gonna do? You can't have everything, and this is already a lot. So that's what the markers are. You can you can add down your own. Um, a lot of these things are in the tools, which we're gonna go over next time. But you 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 can just like add add in a marker and be like, okay, so the marker is gonna be. Uh, my edit positioning, etc. There you go uh, and then you can oh lord uh okay so if i click on this again no that's not how you do it i can't remember how you do it there, yeah there we go so you can then like change the size and colors you can change the type of marker it is uh you can edit like the elements so you can just put notes in about it um this is a note note Norte. This is a Norte. There you go. Um, there you go. So when you go over it, it says marker element 26. This is a Norte. Um, or, or, where is it? There we go. So you can, uh, you can rename it. So you can be like the place of Norte. And then when you like go over it, it's just like the place of Norte. This is a Norte. So you can do similar things with like the, the bridges and the battles and stuff. Uh, there we go. And then 
uh, rulers is literally just the ruler. Yeah, you've got rulers for you can kind of like figure out. So you so you can you can like if you need to, I think I'll take. You can just like squeeze that down a little bit. Did I do that or did I did I mess that up? So, such a pain to actually. So, if you wanted to figure out how far it was from here to here, 1,574. Uh, so, there you go. And then there's the scale bar. And the one thing that we didn't do, because we're going to turn off the states, we'll keep on the borders, we'll keep on the things. Relief. Let's wait for like 10 minutes. And in about 10 minutes, we'll be good. Do do. So we've almost hit the end of the video because th this is this is the majority of what I wanted to show you guys um, for this first one. Just kind of like get your interest a little bit and be like, this is so cool, and there's so much more you can do with it. But um, even even if you just want like a very basic map for a campaign, you can get what you want pretty easily as long as you don't mind things getting a little bit like weird or whatever. Um, but you can get what you want pretty easily. Hmm. So this is relief. Um, you can see that it really slows everything down so much. Oh, apologies. Uh, to the point where I don't think I can even move. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, easy. So you see here we got like mountains, we got trees all around here, and you can you can click on the individual ones, and it's like oh, there's a relief map. It's a it's a it's a hill icon. There you go. Uh, I don't really use this just because, um, but you can if you want. No, it it doesn't take as long to turn off. But yeah, so um, we'll turn on the, we'll turn that off. Uh, we'll turn the states, we'll turn off the borders, we'll turn off the labels, and that's the biomes there. You can turn on like, you can turn on biomes and the height map. It doesn't always come through, so if I turn off the biomes, you can see the height map. Uh, you can, please, you can turn on like religions and the biomes, but it's going to get hard to kind of figure out like what's where. Um, and yeah, that that's that's basically it for the for the start. You've got styles, so you can kind of go into gloom. Like you know, it just looks a bit gloomier. You can put it to like monochrome for height map. Uh, you can put it on clean, ancient. Give it that kind of ancient look. And you can uh, turn on the biomes, turn on the states, turn on the borders, turn on the labels, turn on the labels. There we go. Then it has that kind of that, that kind of look. Um, so that, that's all in there. Uh, you can kind of like mess with things like the states, make them look. All these type of things and yeah um that's pretty much right it and of course you can save i'm not going to do load because it might you know open up one of my things I've, I've i've got it on uh on display capture and it might open up into like porn or something you know so can't do that but um yeah you you can you can save uh you can load so you save as map and it will save a map uh, it will save a dot map thing and then when you load it up, you can load it up and it'll load right into this as well. There's other things to save on, but I just use the map one because uh, it's simple and I can save it on my computer and I can send it to other people. So like if you're wondering, if you watch the, uh, if you watch um, The Last Ditch uh, and you, you're you like, how do they do, how do they manage to, yeah, I just basically send it over to EE before the HQ video and he can load it up. And so he can have the same map as, as what I'm working with. Um, I do have another map for it as well, which is uh, a whole load of secret information and stuff that no one knows about yet, but that's that's beside the point. So, with all of that said, and this video almost reaching 30 minutes, and probably has with the intro, to be honest, so let's end things there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as I said, I have plans for other stuff, kind of um, story time type stuff, uh, like basically story uh role play etc 
orientated. I'm going to see how I can do with that, but keep keep an eye keep an eye out for that content for those videos to come out in the future. Um, I'll do my best to get them out, but this first one I'm doing, I'm not in the groove, so it's taking me ages. And uh, yeah, as I said, I'll probably do at least one more video for Asgard's Fantasy Map Generator, maybe two, and then I'll do one on the city as well, so I can show you how the city works. I may try and wrap that into like the third video if I do third video or something, but I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, guys, there you go. Um, I know I haven't done that much gaming content. It's mostly because gaming sucks and is kind of like going the way of the music industry and Hollywood and all that type of stuff. Um, it's just not as fun anymore for me. I enjoy roleplay. I enjoy roleplay shows. It's 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 mostly more interesting. But there are still games that I enjoy, and I'm gonna try and bring you guys some fun stuff around that area. So yeah, we'll see. Anyway. Yeah.